Welcome to CoreCon. This video is intended for external collaborators with companies that are subscribers to CoreCon technology software. CoreCon's platform is cloud-based. CoreCon subscribers can access that information through the CoreCon browser-based application, through CoreCon Mobile, which is available in Android and Apple, and a CoreCon link utility to several accounting software. CoreCon subscribers can invite external companies to collaborate with them on projects and contracts. This training video is addressing the perspective of a vendor, supplier, or subcontractor as an external collaborator to the CoreCon platform. The product that you'll be using is called Team Link Portal. Team Link Portal is available on any browser. Before we begin, let's define a few of the roles and phrases that you'll hear in this training video. The CoreCon subscriber is an internal user. They access CoreCon through a variety of solutions, as mentioned moments ago. Aside from that, there are three primary Team Link Portal users. All three are external Team Link users. First, there's the owner, which represents a project owner, a customer, or a client of the CoreCon subscriber. The second is called Architect, which is also an external Team Link user. And that role or label usually encompasses companies that represent the project owner, such as architects, engineers, owner's representatives, or CM firms. The third Team Link portal user role is called vendor. Vendor would incorporate such companies as external suppliers, vendors, and subcontractors. This video is addressing that particular external Team Link user role. There's another set of videos that go with this training video that's addressing how to enter sub invoices, how to enter RFIs and submittals. We do encourage you to view this video in its entirety before going on to those more advanced subjects. When we get to those subjects specifically from the correspondence module, we're also going to be addressing three other roles. So this is for the correspondence module, specifically the RFI and submittals. An RFI or submittal has an originator, a respondent, and a coordinator. The originator is usually a vendor, a supplier, or subcontractor like you that is requesting information or is replying to requests or documentation. The respondent is also an external user and encompasses the project owner, customer, client, or their representatives, such as the architect, engineer, owner's representative, or CM firm. Respondents provide information, documents, responses, or approves requested information coming from the originator or coordinator. The coordinator is usually the CoreCon subscriber. They're the mediator of correspondence between CoreCon subscriber and the originator, and also the CoreCon subscriber and the respondent. If you fit under the role vendor as an external Team Link user, you're probably also going to fit into the role when it comes to RFIs and submittals called originator. If you are a external Team Link user that would be grouped under that vendor category, you'll receive an email similar to this. This is a Team Link invitation, and that means that a CoreCon subscriber has identified you as a company they want to collaborate with. The email is an invite to log in and see information throughout that collaboration and for the entirety of that project. The invitation gives you your login information, the URL, username, and password. If you've never logged into Team Link Portal in the past, the password will be a temporary set password that CoreCon will generate. When you log into the Team Link Portal for the first time, we encourage you to go straight to the profile and set that password to something easy for you to remember. Let's click on the portal login.
Once you're in, you'll see at least one project. If you're working with this Corcon subscriber on more than one project, those will also appear. Let's talk a little bit about navigation. First of all, the logout is here at the top right hand corner. If we go to the far left under the main menu, the first module is called projects. Projects are viewable as a list or log. Each of these projects has a push pin on a map and the current weather at the project site. To drill into that project and see more details, simply click on the project number. And we'll come back to that in a moment. The next item on the main menu is alerts. Alerts can come from any module in CoreCon. If your company is referenced on that record type or transaction type, and you've been granted access to that record type, the items requiring your attention also have a due date, respond by date, or follow up date. To drill down and see more information, simply click on the subject. There's also a filter, so you can see no past due alerts, and there is also a search bar. The search bar will search both the subject and the alert type. The next item on the list is your profile. Again, if you're just logging in for the first time, we encourage you to change your password to something easier for you to remember. If we scroll down a little farther, there's also a place for you to monitor your insurance and add new insurance certificates. There's another section for licenses. To add a new one, simply click Add New License. We encourage you to upload a copy of that insurance certificate or license at this option in the bottom right hand corner. Let's go back to projects. The project we're going to be looking at today is renovations at an elementary school. So let's open that project number to see the details. This is your project landing page that you've been granted access to and are referenced on regarding this particular project. Across the top is a list of tabs. The Quick Links tab, which we'll come back to in a moment. There's an Alerts tab, which is similar to the alerts on the main menu, but specific to this particular project. Each one of the references has a due date, respond by date, follow up date. And if you need to see more details, simply drill down on that calendar item. Next, we go to the Drawings and Specs. Drawings and Specs have attachments. The attachment or the file name is the hyperlink to the details. Same for specifications. Next, we have progress photos that will be added to throughout the project by the Corcon subscriber. You are able to download all. You can also filter by album or search for keywords. Next item over are open items. Open items are records where you are referenced and have been granted access to and have a due date, respond by date, follow up date, and so on. In this case, it's illustrating the correspondence module in CoreCon. As mentioned earlier, two of the features in the correspondence module are covered in separate training videos, specifically RFIs and submittals. Next, you have a financials tab. This will be the financial information specific to your company on this project. Again, anytime you see a record count, that represents a hyperlink to more details. We'll go back over to Quick Links. As with the others, the number of records or transactions is always the hyperlink or a way of drilling down to more detail. There's always a filter for each of these types, different ways to view the list of records or transactions. If you see a plus sign next to an item, such as journals, RFIs, and submittals, as well as bills and sub-invoices. That means you can initiate a new record. There's also a separate video related to the TeamLink portal specifically for subcontractor invoices. Scrolling down, we come to scheduling. If there's more than one schedule, you'll be able to see that on the pull-down. 
you have a Gantt view, you'll be able to see tasks where your company is referenced as a resource. Back to the project detail. At the main menu, you also have bid opportunities. Bid opportunities can come in the form of a RFP or invitation to bid. You do have date range and filters, and back to the project landing page. If a purchase order has been issued to your company, you'll be able to see the bills applied or initiate a new bill. If your company has been issued a subcontract and it's been marked approved, you can also open the subcontracts and then open the detail. And each subcontract is going to have a brief summary, including the schedule of values. Back to the subcontract list, back to project details, and back to quick links. Remember, there will be additional videos that are on more advanced subjects to follow, specifically initiating and responding RFIs and submittals and initiating and reviewing subcontract invoices. If you still have questions at this point, we encourage you to contact the project manager at the Corcon subscriber company that you're working with or email techsupport at corcon.com.